and welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new here my name is kyra and i've been creating lifestyle content just about my journey in general and i'm so excited to film this video because this is going to be a, an update for you guys about the changes that are coming up for the summertime and for the fall so if you are interested let's get right into the video so it is currently july 5th so we are making our way through summer and i'm so excited um, about what's coming up for me but basically if you've been here on my channel for a little bit you know that i was a middle school dance teacher and a studio instructor um, and half of that is still true and the other half is currently not so um, on june 10th i finished my last day as a middle school dance teacher and i resigned from my position it was a bittersweet experience um, of being a teacher i absolutely love my kids and i loved what i did and being able to be creative during that time um but there are some other things that have been calling me and i wanted to make sure that i get the opportunity to answer to them so um, i'm no longer a middle school dance teacher but i still am a studio instructor for the remainder of the summer um, and if you guys saw my last video that i uploaded which was my um, weekend in my life which was our recital uh, it was such a incredible time and experience and i'm so glad that i filmed it because now i have um i'm i have the ability to look back on that so over the summer, I was supposed to um, work for a summer camp. However, it got canceled at the last minute. And um, right now with COVID, all of those things happen. They happen very often. So um, no harm, no foul. But my summer position is an assistant for my mom. Um, I have been kind of like on my mom's work team for a while now. I, um, do maintenance on her website or I just help her um, around her business and she currently just opened up another um, location so congratulations mom if you are watching this or if you ever see that ever see this I'm very proud of you congratulations on your new location um, but I'm helping her with maintenance for the summer and um, getting everything that she needs and wants um, technology wise so whether that's like logos or of course, as I keep saying, maintenance on her website, um, those type of things. And then I also just help her around the business. Thankful to be able to do that this summer um, and have that as a job opportunity and just be able to spend time with my family. And I'm also working at the studio um, right now, part time. Um, but our classes start up, our summer classes start up pretty soon. So, um, I will probably pick up a little bit more on that in the afternoons and I can't wait to vlog um, those days where I go into work with my mom in the morning um, slash halfway through the afternoon and then I head to the studio in the evening and um, sometimes get to teach or sometimes just get to be there and observe and watch um, because those are always the best experiences when you get to grow as a dancer and as a teacher by watching other people. We will be traveling to Vegas and doing a little family vacation and probably the beach later on this summer. So I can't wait to vlog those things and share them with you guys. But as of right now, that is currently all I'm doing for the summer. So uh, very chill, spending time with friends and family and you know, going to church and just being a part of my community right now. What is next, guys? I'm so excited to be at this part of the video. Um, I cannot believe that I'm saying this because I got accepted into the Disney College program. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I applied to the Disney College program January 26th, um, and I'll post that video here. Okay, guys. I'm being very quiet so no one really hears me. It is Wednesday, January 26, 2022 um, at 8.38 p.m. And I just, um, what's it called? I just applied 
to the Disney college program. So I just wanted to document this in case I get in or in case I'm accepted, um, but I applied, so we'll see. And then I was accepted into the college program around February, which was also so exciting. And that is part of the reason why I resigned from teaching. Um, I wanted a new experience and I have been a Disney fan and lover for so many years now. And being able to work for Disney hopefully will open a lot of doors for me um, in the entertainment industry and just being able to share the experience with people through YouTube um, or, you know, just I'm just so excited. There's so many opportunities that come along with working for Disney and being a part of that company. Um, so I'm excited for what's next. And I will be moving into Flamingo Crossings in about 65 days. So it is coming around quickly. Um, and I plan to film the journey. So if you guys are interested in DCP content, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the bell so you know when I'm posting. Right now my post schedule is on Fridays um, once a week, but I'm hoping that eventually I can get up to at least two posts a week, um, being like Wednesday and Friday or another day, but I really enjoy posting on Friday because it's like a nice video to start you guys out on your weekend. So a part of this video, I thought it would be really fun since I have finally announced my DCP um, to you guys here on YouTube to do the DCP tags. In all honesty, I really don't know how this happened. Um, I love watching Disney vlogs and videos on YouTube. Um, they just, I, I've been doing that for a couple of years now since YouTube has been so um, large, like it, it just keeps growing. Um, and so I used to watch Disney vlogs all the time. And I remember, um, I think it was back in December or like early January, um, I had, COVID the first week in January um, and I was like in bed and I came across um, some Disney vlogs that were like DCP related and I watched them and they were so much fun and I was like where has this content been you know for the past couple of years because I would have done this like <laughs> way sooner um, but I remember watching the videos and like okay and then one day I looked into the DCP and it was just so interesting to me. I loved the concept behind it. I wanted to know more about it. And so once I actually looked into it, it actually had been two days after the um, post had gone up that they were accepting applications. So I think they started accepting applications um, January 24th and I applied on January 26th. Anytime you want something, the interview process is gonna be stressful and strenuous, I think, but it was fairly easy. So again, I did apply January 26th I want to say it was around 7 or 8 p.m. Um, that night and I was like just go for it because the least they can say is no. So I applied and immediately within like a couple of hours I received a response from them that said you have your web-based interview. Panicking! I was so excited but I have my web-based interview and basically what they will tell you in the email is you have a certain amount of time to fill out that web-based interview from the time that you sent your application and I think it was three days if I'm sure um so I like watch videos about how to pass the DCP of course um I can link some below if you are trying to get in or if you want to apply um but overall I think the best way to get into the DCP is to be yourself and um, because that will be seen on your job um and so if you're just kind of like trying to get in just because I don't think it will work for you, but if you want to get in and this is generally something that you want to do and it is a dream of yours to work for Disney, um, you just have to be yourself. And um, one thing that they told me in the video, which really helped me, was to have somebody next to you um, to help you like read through the questions and answer them honestly. And for me, that was my sister, Logan, Lord. 
love her to death. <laughs> She's, um, Logan is my younger sister, love her to death, but I had her next to me while I did the web-based interview. And when I tell you she made me like extra stressed, but she helped me answer the questions to the best of my ability and I'm very appreciative or of them. So there were three to four sections on the web based interview and they are pretty much multiple choice questions. Um, and you have like a certain amount of time to answer each question. And so I, that's like what freaked me out the most because there would be questions on the test like, what's the first thing you would do if a child got hurt? Like. So I used to nanny and I've worked with kids for as long as I can remember. And the first thing I would do, it just depends on the situation. If the parent is around, I would inform the parent. I would also wanna care for the child at the same time. I wouldn't wanna leave the child, but I also would wanna get like first aid. And so they kind of ask you questions where um, you have to think, you have to think quickly, and then you have to kind of like process it and pick what you just feel the best answer would be. Um, and so those questions kind <laughs> of freak, to be honest, those questions freak me out. But I overall thought um, that it went really well. And so at the end of the web-based interview, after I got through those three or four sections, it tells you whether they think you're a candidate or whether you should kind of like try again at a different time. And I got the email or the notification at the end of the web-based interview that they thought I was a candidate. I filled that out January 28th or 29th, I don't remember, but um, it was within that time span that I had to fill it out. After filling that out, I heard stuff, I checked back um, almost weekly because they were like, you know, if you hear anything, you'll get something. And I didn't hear anything until I want to say like midway through February. I want to say it was the week of Valentine's Day, but I could be wrong. Um, but I was at work. I was at work and I was having a difficult Monday. I mean, Mondays are already hard, let's be honest, but this Monday was tough. And I remember I was like, one of my classes was leaving and the next one was getting ready to come in. And I was like, okay, let me just quickly just check my email to make sure that I've caught up on everything. And I wasn't even thinking about um, getting an email from the DCP. And I scrolled in my phone guys and I had two emails from Disney and it was like, do not reply, do not reply. Um, and so I read the first one. So it was like one email and then the other email and I clicked on the one on the top and it was like, you need to give us this information for like your background or um, for your background check or it was like, you need to supply this information for your background check and your vaccination. So I was like, okay, hey, maybe they need that before. And I scrolled up a little bit more. I clicked on that second one and it said, you have been accepted into the DCP. And that was so exciting for me. So I was, that is kind of like the interview process. It can be lengthy for some people. And then I've talked to a few other people that um, they applied one week and then they were accepted the next week. Um, so honestly, my best advice is after that web-based interview, if you get the, that you're a great applicant and you'll hear back from them or to be patient. <laughs> God definitely tested me on my patience. That's something I prayed for this year, but he definitely tested me on my patience with that and I could not be more excited. I told my teacher Resty um, about like me just signing up for the program and just being interested in it. And she was like, yeah, that's great. That's something that you will be really good at. And I got the email and I literally ran down the hallway. Guys, I looked crazy. Like the kids were coming to class and <laughs> I ran down the hallway to her classroom because she was in a different building. I ran so fast to her and she was talking to a kid at the door. The kid went in and I looked at her and I was like, I got accepted. And like, we were like jumping up and down <laughs> in the hallway. We looked insane, but then I had to like run back right to my classroom. 
So because I'm leaving in September and it is currently July, I have not heard about my role yet, but um, my goal roles would be anything in entertainment. So parades or character attendant, um, the photo pass or students or children's activities. I keep saying student, but it's children's activities. Um, that would be probably number one on my list or photo pass will be number two. Definitely film um, the next couple of steps where it is getting your room and um, receiving my role and like packing and preparing for it. I'm definitely filming. I have not found any roommates yet. Um, I am kind of just thinking I'm going to do luck of the draw where they um, provide me with my roommates. Um, hopefully that is kind of how it is done. Um, and hopefully I like them. Um, but if not, you know, it's always a learning lesson. So um, I've been like looking and talking to people, but I know you can kind of only choose one roommate. So, but I would like to be put in a four by four or a four by two. And a four by four is you have your own room and your own bathroom or a four by two is you have your own room, but you share a bathroom with someone that is next. <sighs> I'm going to miss my family. 110% um, and my students from the school, but majority my family. Um, I've never been away for very long from anybody in my family, my mom, my grandparents, um, my sister. It's always been, um, we've always been a very tight knit unit group. So excited to go and experience this and be away from home and going to be very sad when I cannot just drive down the street and go visit my grandparents or um, call them up and they're all doing something and I'm like eight hours away. Um, that's, that's, I know is going to be very tough for me, but I am excited nonetheless. And I know, um, I was seeing on, I saw on somebody's uh, Instagram the other day that is in the DCP, they said it it was tough for them too, but one of the things that helped them out is the realization that you can always go visit and like they'll be there. That uh, kind of reassures me in this situation. My favorite Disney park is Hollywood Studios. I recently went to Hollywood Studios for the first time in 2019. I don't know how long it's been open, but I went to Hollywood Studios in 2019 and I fell in love with Hollywood Studios. Um, I rode Rock and Roller Coaster for the first time. Um, I haven't done Tower of Terror yet, but that is a bucket list thing that my sister and I are going to do when I wait for my program. Um, but Hollywood Studios, chef's kiss. Love it. Favorite park. I think my second favorite park would be Epcot. Riding Expedition Everest. Oh my gosh. Um, that's probably the first thing I'll do. So I'll ride Expedition Everest first. Because when we went, I haven't been since uh, December of 2020, earlier this year, Expedition Everest was shut down and I was so upset and sad, um, but that's the first thing I'm going to do. And my sister has never been on it either. So that is the first thing we're going to do. And my bucket list would definitely be to monorail crawl and resort hop, visit all the resorts um, and eat at Be Our Guest because I've never eaten there and... I just hear, I mean, I hear like mixed reviews on it, but I want to have the experience for myself and um, eat in like Be Our Guest because it is one of my favorite uh, movies currently, um, Beauty and the Beast. And so I want to eat in there and just have the bell of the ball experience. I don't know, but the that is what I'm looking forward to. One thing I would want to take away from this experience from the program, um, number one is friends and number two is yes, I can.
Um, and so friends, currently um, I am at a difficult time. Well, I'm not gonna say difficult, but I'm at that like awkward time and phase in my young adulthood where um, being friends, making friends, that's it's difficult. Um, and I'm like in that awkward space where you're just trying to figure things out and people are leaving your life, coming into your life. And um, it's a lot. I want to take away the fact that I can do it. Like I can move somewhere and I can work really hard, which is I'm not worried about, um, but that I can be on my own and miss my family, but still do wonderful things. And I want to just take away the experience altogether because I think that it is an amazing, incredible opportunity and experience um, that not many people may get the opportunity to have. Um, and so I wanna just take everything in um, and take away from it and just know that I can do it and that I did it. All right guys, that is the end of my update and summer video and my DCP announcement and tag. I am so excited. As I have probably said a million times, I cannot wait to edit this video because I probably, I'm gonna do an excited counter down below because I say it so many times. But I thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it this far, drop the little sparkly emoji or no, 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 drop the lightning bolt emoji and um, tell me if you guys are in DCP and what your arrival and departure dates are um, or if you're just interested be sure to like subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell for notifications so you know when I am posting. I am so thankful to be on this next journey and I cannot wait to see what comes with it. Love you guys and I will see you in my next video.